And just to put this in context, I've actually been a leader since my early 20s, uh, more in the athletic uh, areas. I was the uh, assistant manager of the modern pentathlon training site at the 1976 Olympics in Montreal, and that's a whole other story. But leadership is something that I'm actually quite familiar with, and yet the concepts and what you're going to hear today, I n did not learn at all until I joined the space program. And I think it's something that's really exciting because I do believe that these concepts are transferable from one location to another. So the topic of this talk uh, to start the afternoon session off is attaining peak performance in clinical practice. And I think what's interesting about peak performance is we typically associate peak performance with teams. And when we think about different teams, we talk about athletic teams, we talk about racing car teams, we talk about astronauts working together in teams, and arguably you can even talk about military teams because in fact the strategies of working together are very similar and the lessons learned that we can get from an environment like this where you have a very uh, critical situation in the pits and every person on that Formula One race car team has a job that they've rehearsed thousands of times so that they can actually do it to the best of their ability. So I think it's really interesting taking those concepts and then bringing them from the space environment where we use the same sorts of concepts and peak performance into the clinical arena. And surprisingly, if you go out and you try and read the world's literature on peak performance, there's not a whole lot out there. And you'll find yourself reading Formula One race car driving books, and you'll find yourself reading the psychology of uh, Olympic athletics uh, books, because in fact the lessons learned about peak performing teams uh, do transfer from these environments. In the space program, we spend a lot of time teaching our astronauts leadership skills and followership skills and this is a picture I'm in the center there and uh, this gentleman is Charlie Holbaugh the pilot for our, our mission on STS 118 and there's Barb Morgan a mission specialist educator astronaut in the back but we're out in the field and every day we're evaluated on our leadership skills and our followership skills and what's interesting in this environment is we want to develop peak performing teams through effective leadership, through effective followership and effective team performance. And when you get daily feedback from your peers and seasoned instructors, it really helps you develop your repertoire of leadership styles that we'll talk about. Those lessons that I learned could apply in this environment, which of course is a busy North American emergency department which in the UK was referred to as A&E. And that's where I did my clinical specialty with the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons in Canada. And you look at this environment where chaos is reigning and you think, how can we develop a uh, high quality experience for our patients in this environment? What are the team aspects in delivering high quality medical care? And I think what's uh, a challenge for all of us to get our arms around is the cost of medical error.